Hey guys, Jenny Solo and your kitchen coach here. Today I want to talk to you about something that tends to really stress me out as a mom. And that is lunch. So raise your hands if lunch also stresses you out. I don't know what it is, but lunchtime is my least, lunch is my least favorite meal of the day. And I think it's because we get going, we get busy and we get into our day and then we have to stop everything and think about food again. And Maybe it's just me, but sometimes I find myself thinking, do we really have to eat three times a day? Seriously? <laughs> like, sometimes it feels kind of overwhelming, right? Like to just stop everything and then have to think about food again, knowing you're gonna have to get your kitchen messy and then clean it again. And then later there's dinner and it just feels like a never ending pattern of <laughs> food, food, food. So um, we've, found a few things that really help our family uh, with lunchtime that help make things a little bit less stressful and more fun. And when we follow these tips, um, lunchtime is more exciting and fun and it's more of a breeze to put together and it's less stressful. So my first tip is bento box lunches. So this is a really popular thing right now on the web and I know a lot of moms already do this. But if you haven't, I'll tell you what bento box lunches are. Um, basically it's where you, where you grab some sort of divided container like this, and then you create a lunch that's just full of variety for your children and you can stick whatever you want in there. This is a great alternative for people who don't do sandwiches. We don't do sandwiches in our family very often. We do once in a while, but we don't digest bread very well. So sandwiches aren't really an option for us. So bento boxes have worked really well for us because it's almost like when I pull these out and sit them on the kitchen counter, my brain turns on and it's really easy for me to just grab a little bit of this, a little bit of that, to open up the fridge and see what we have. And even just small amounts of leftovers work really great. Um, they're also just really pleasing to look at when they're done. It's really exciting for the kids to open it up and see what fun variety of food they have that day for lunch. So I highly recommend trying bento box, bento style lunches, I guess is what I should call it, um, if you haven't already. Um, these boxes I get on Amazon. I got a pack of four and I think it was pretty inexpensive. It was probably around $15 for all four, but the prices may have fluctuated since then. If you type in easy lunch boxes on um, Amazon, then you'll be able to find these, but there are a million varieties available. So. Just find what works best for you. So that is my first tip is bento style lunches. So the second tip I have is to create a list and keep it handy. And I'll show you the list that I've created. I'm always creating new lists and updating my lists, but this is my latest one. And really this is just the tip of the iceberg. This list is gonna get quite a bit longer as I keep adding things. But I like to refresh it once in a while because my kids' tastes change and sometimes they get tired of this or tired of that and it's just good to keep it fresh. But I've divided my list into two categories. I've got fruits and vegetables and proteins and grains. And you may want more categories. It just depends on how, um, on what you prefer. So I will go ahead and take a picture of this on my phone and send you a copy of the picture if you want if you want ideas and inspiration from what I have on my list but I highly recommend creating your own list um, maybe even get your kids to help you create the list ask them what do you like in your lunches what vegetables would you enjoy this has been good for us because sometimes it surprises me like they requested steamed broccoli and cooked carrots and I was like okay I can do that but I wasn't I wouldn't have put that on if my kids hadn't suggested it so so collaborate with your kids, maybe look through cookbooks, think about lunches you've had in the past, and think outside the box as much as you can. Things that you normally wouldn't maybe think of for lunch can work really well when you're doing the bento style lunches. So having a list handy and on your fridge is really good when you start to find yourself with a wall, that wall in front of you of like, what do we eat? And when you're starting to run out of ideas and you're grasping at straws, you don't know what to put in their lunches. Really awesome to be able to just look at your list and go, oh yeah, that's right. I can make that. I can make that. And um, that leads me into my third tip, which is to prepare and plan ahead, get ahead of the game in any way possible. 
So on my list, I've stuck a, I've put a star next to everything that would be really easy for me to make a big batch of ahead of time and stick it in the freezer. And this makes putting lunches together such a breeze because I can open up the freezer and I can grab a muffin or I can grab um, some crackers that we like to make crackers sometimes. I can pull out some crackers or I can pull out some leftover dinner. You can make a, like double your batch of dinner, whatever it is you're making, and then take the leftovers and portion them and then stick them in your freezer. So then when you pull out your bento boxes and have them set out and you're going to make their lunches, it's so easy because you have all these options to choose from. So I highly recommend getting ahead of the game any way you can. And if you always are sort of thinking about your kids' lunches, if you always have it in the back of your mind, this is going to be really easy because you're going to, you're going to go, well, I'm just going to make extra dinner and then we're going to save some. Or one of the things my kids love is when I make a giant batch of pancakes and I make a bunch of little pancakes to stick in the freezer. And those are really fun in kids' lunches just to grab them and stick them in there next to like some peanut butter or syrup or jam, something they can spread on their pancakes. Um, sometimes we'll do our own homemade Lunchables where I'll get some healthier type crackers and then I'll slice up some cheese and then stick some lunch meat in there and then they can create their own Lunchables. And it's Lunchables I feel good about my kids eating instead of just the packaged ones and it's also a lot more um, economical. It's a lot more budget friendly to do it that way. So like I said, think outside the box and you'll find that as your list continues to grow that you're just going to it's going to build momentum. You're going to find even more ideas. You can get on Pinterest and look up bento box lunch ideas. There are a million ideas out there. And I'm also going to include a link to a Google Doc that I've created. Um, so I, I've gone ahead and photographed 22 different bento box lunches that I've made for my kids. And I've put those all together in a single Google Doc. So you can look through that and get some ideas and inspiration. And under every photograph, there'll be a description of what's included in the lunches, just in case some of it might be hard to tell what it is in the photograph. So um, anyway, those are my tips. And I really hope that this helps inspire you and get you excited about making lunches for your kids instead of like dreading this part of life because <laughs> it's not going away, right? <laughs> um, but it can be fun and it can be fun for you and fun for your kids. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and good luck with all your back to school stuff. I know we start next week and, and I'm getting excited and my kids are excited. So good luck with everything um, that's going on in your neck of the woods. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll chat with you later. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.